Uh, we start with, of course, the biggest story. Of yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Paul and Phil, take a look at this. Ah, uh, <laughs> David Cameron's axe. <laughs> oh, that's the... Uh... Tim Martin. Oh, yes. He warrants Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons pubs, yes. That's pigs in blankets, I think. Uh, that's a man who can't believe what he's seen. Um, <laughs> there's a shortage of pigs in blankets. We didn't have this sort of food when I was growing up as a kid. We used to make do with a concrete post wrapped around a sock. <laughs> How do you wrap a concrete post around a sock? Oh, that's the trick of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's part puzzle, part dinner. Uh, so it's about shortage of pigs in blankets. No, not enough blankets for pigs. Yes, customer uh, Xander Yarny... Yes. Uh, <laughs> ..told the Evening Standard, I ordered the pigs in blankets, and when they got delivered to me, they didn't have the bacon on them. Here is the shocking moment. Oh, Steve. oh no! <laughs> because when I go to Spoons, it's the first thing I order. <laughs> This is pathetic. You don't believe anything anymore. <laughs> it's your butler that orders it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you use the app. There's, a, there's an app. The app is amazing. Yeah, what does the app do? It's weather spoons without the human interaction. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's just the alcoholism. Yeah. And you go in, you sit down, you note your table number, you get yeah. on the app, you tell them which pub you're in, yeah. and you order, and you don't have to talk to anyone. I got Black Mirror all wrong, because the future in technology is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shocking news about, yeah. about uh, a shortage of, of pigs in blankets yes. in Weatherspoons. What exactly happened? Due to a shortage of seasonal workers in the pigs in blanket factory... Um, this is Brexit hitting Christmas. Um, <laughs> yes, it yes, is. It is. It well, is. Well, over to Emma. It... Un uncertainty. This That's was... all we got time for. This, yeah. was... <laughs> <laughs> this was flagged, Ian, in yes. October. Yes. Was it? Yes. By the, the, the food authority, they said we may not have enough seasonal workers because pigs in blankets can't be done by machines. The ironic thing is Tim Martin, the head of Weatherspoons, is a strident Brexiteer. And now so it's affected. sort of ironic, exactly. isn't it? Well, it's like he's been served a bowl of chicken karma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the Weatherspoons app. Um, <laughs> according to the British Meat Processors Association, the UK was not attracting enough EU workers, which could have a detrimental impact on the supply of fiddly items. Oh. <laughs> Adding pigs and blankets are a very labour-intensive thing to make, and we're short of labour. Well, yeah, we're very, very yeah. short. <laughs> <laughs> what were Weatherspoons celebrating last week? The money they've saved on bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that when you walk in the carpet's quite squishy. You've heard. <laughs> um... I'm down there all the time. I hate this vision of myself as not a spoons kind of guy. <laughs> Actually, it was their 40th birthday. To celebrate, would you like to have a listen to what I like to think of as the official Weatherspoons song? Yes. Yes. Please. Let's have a look. Absolutely. I love spoons, 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 from the tap, give me a pint. I love spoons, 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 I'm gonna be here off the night. Have a shot, have a straight, have a luck, yeah, go on, mate. Don't get hurt, you'll be young, mate, cos the spoons is fucking good. 